do you think it should be reduced? Is it too easy now, maybe? Um, personally speaking, I do think it should be reduced to 20 weeks um, because, like, because of medical science and how it's advanced. You know, babies are surviving now at 23 and 24. 70%. 70%. Yeah. Are surviving at, what, 23, 24 weeks? 23 weeks, yeah. So, for that reason alone, yes, I do. And also, I just think if, you've, if you find out that you're pregnant and, you, you know, who knows what position you're in or why you're taking the decision to have an abortion, I just think you have to then take that decision earlier. Yeah. I mean, why, why yeah. wait that long? Yeah. You know, it's... But Stacey, you didn't know, did you? I, this is the thing. The only, the only reason I feel that it would be a really harsh decision to say that everyone has to... Make, yeah. 20 weeks is the, is the maximum is because I didn't know I was pregnant till past 20 weeks. And how old were you then? Um, and I was 17. Yeah. And it was something that I, I really went through the notions of... And my thought process was, can't do it now, I'm too young, must go and have the procedure. And, and I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't end up having the procedure because of... And so what uh, happened was your mum went with you? My mum went with me and there's quite a few steps you go through before anything actually happens. Um, you go for... You speak on the phone, then you go in for a consultation, then you speak to a, for a, therapy, a, a psych, psychologist, yeah. I think, and then you go and have a scan. And it, it was at the point of the scan when it then became a bit too real for me. I could mm. see my mum's face looking at the scan and she was in tears, you know. I. I then it, the reality hit me, and I. Then that's a very different situation, is it? Because you genuinely didn't even know till and, twenty, and 20 weeks, that you weeks. And twenty weeks is yeah, yeah. quite. On a, you'd see quite a lot on a scan that yes. you wouldn't see at sort of six yeah. to eight weeks when most terminations well, are carried I was, out. I was sixteen, just turned sixteen actually, when I found out I was pregnant, and um, and I just joined my sisters, and we had this. And it was, I was, you know, with my parents being Irish Catholics and all of that, I mean, we never talked about... I'd never had a conversation with my mum or my dad about sex or boyfriend, anything. And, um, and I actually did... I was six weeks pregnant and I did go ahead and have a termination, but I didn't tell a soul, apart from the, the, who would have been the father of the child, who was fantastic and stayed with me through the whole thing and it was all my decision and he was amazing. But... It was at that point where, I mean, I had nobody... I mean, my, my mum and dad both passed away never knowing that I'd done that because it was just... It was never even a thought process of maybe I could keep this mm. child. Could you imagine, though, if you had... It had have been further on in the pregnancy and you had not known and that decision was, was taken away from you, you weren't even allowed to have... That, do you know what I mean? So if I'd have got to 21 yeah, weeks and, and then and, gone, and oh, I'm said pregnant... the law and is no. 20 But weeks. surely the, there will be circumstances where they would have to look into that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or sometimes you find out at 20 weeks that the pregnancy isn't going the way it should be and, you know, for whatever reason. So, uh, I don't know, I just think because now you see babies, don't you see them all the time? This baby mm -hmm. was born at 23 weeks, 24 weeks and they've all survived and you think... Yeah. God, they, I mean, uh, you know. at, at the moment, uh, the, some people can have a termination past 24 weeks, but it has to be sort of approved by a, a, a panel where they either see severe disability or there's a very real danger to mm. the mother's health. And I think you could have that same yeah. fail-safe thing in at 20 mm. weeks. Um, and you have to also think about the effect, I think, on the staff. I, yeah. I had a letter many years ago from a midwife and it was incredibly distressing who... who um, well, is she a midwife? I don't know. But she was in on terminations. And, at the uh, late stage. At the late yeah, stage. and she said, you know, at, at 24 weeks, you're looking at what's ostensibly a, a baby, a baby mm -hmm. and they're, they're gasping for air. And it's very, very traumatic. And I do believe... I mean, there may be doctors out there that know better, but I heard a doctor doing a, a phone-in recently, and he said that... Most doctors or surgeons are uncomfortable past 16 weeks doing a termination. And I think there's only two in the country that will do it, because they can say no, but that will do it up to 24 weeks. Well, because it is that, it yeah, is distressing. You said currently the limit is 24 weeks and, um, you know, there is a call for it to be reduced to 20. And we've done a, a Loose Women poll today online. Thank you very much for taking part. And 89% of you said, yes, you believe the, the upper limit should be reduced. Yeah. to 20 weeks, yeah. so, yeah. And, you know, 
There was a, a, a baby last week at 23 yeah. weeks, another one that, that survived. Yeah. I mean, they survive with medical intervention, because yes. I think the lungs are the last yeah. to as develop. Well as it, but... just, it has to go by each individual case, because you never know what's yeah. going yeah. on yeah. and yeah. what the Exactly, and it's, are. it's too easy to judge, isn't it? And, and we do know it's a very emotive subject, and if it's something you're going through and you're struggling with, um, then there are lots of helplines and things out there, and we, we are thinking about you, and we don't wish to be judgmental in any way, but it is something that we talk about often um, when, it, when it crops up in the papers and thank you very much for taking part in that poll.